hopefully you can hear me on my microphone so here we've got a pull on 2000 chainsaw being set here for a year till I was ready to do it and not run at all um, when I picked it up apparently uh, first thing I noticed the the fuel weight is loose in the bottom that's escaped and there's a throttle there but it's not picked up the the throttle pull is just floating there loose so we need to have a look at that choke doesn't move oh, the pull start it's not fantastic either uh, start arm moves so let's see I'll just grab a screwdriver and we'll pull the air box off there's two flathead screws on this air box this choke doesn't seem to want to move anyway let's just make sure the air box is clear and what it's like underneath Uh, no, not fully undone that one. Let's see how this choke works. Well, get a tab. Hold on a sec. Right, moved you around a little bit, so should be able to get the. Ah, right, so the choke just gets moved on that, so that's the choke. Ah, well, that works. Oh, but there is no fuel line. So yeah, that, that fuel line in there goes nowhere. So that will explain why it doesn't start and if we pull yeah so if I pull the mechanism for the throttle the throttle actually works So I haven't checked for spark, but what I think I'm going to try and do is pull the throttle open and give it a couple of drops. Of go. Put the choke on. Put us in the start position and see if we get anything. pretty good probably can't hopefully you'll hear me over the compressor I'm just gonna give it a bit of an air bath get some of this muck and junk out now give them come out when it's cleaned up a bit there was three screws in there I've took out and that shows us the intake side what I don't see is how the fuel gets back in the tank how does the fuel get back in the tank I've well, just jammed some rag and cloth in there I'm going to give this a good air bath and then see if we can see how the fuel gets back to the tank I've just jammed 
some rag and cloth in there. I'm going to give this a good air bath and then see if we can see how the fuel gets back to the tank. So what I've noticed now I've cleaned up a bit, there's a notch there and then if we flip it around, can we see it? Can I get you to see it? That notch feeds into a hole in the handle and that comes around to possibly come out there but there's a hole there going into the tank so either we've got to split that off or we could take this side of the handle off and have a look Right, so there's two, two bolts through the front, a bolt through the back, and there was a nut and bolt. There's a pinch bolt there because it can do a little bit of a pirouette. I've wriggled the tank out, got the manky oil weight out the bottom, and there is the hole for the fuel line. And that sits pointing out to come up to sneaks through there, runs up the handle and into our carburetor. So I'm gonna run a bit of line in, I'm gonna clean that, I'm gonna clean that. I am gonna put some oil on these and a bit of a clean to help them spring back. That one springs, that one not so keen. So I'll get that cleaned up and we'll be back. Cleaned up in there, cleaned up in there, got rid of all the goober. Clean the tank and I've greased these with the littlest of oil and now they spring that one moves lovely and they're the same so I'm going to find a bit of fuel line and treat it to a new weight so what I've done that's a really tight fit in the hole so to sneak it in I've cut focus I've cut a long sliver on that so that I could reach in with the fishing pliers. Yeah, look, I'll cut a point on that, reach in with the fishing pliers and grab it, and then I'll flush cut it and put the weight on. So there's the weight on, so if we should be able to sneak that. Down in there, can, can I see? Yeah, I can see you can't quite, but that the weight has gone round and sitting on the bottom now. So that we'll put back into there. So I've twisted that in, and then there's a teeny notch there, which will line up with coming out there. So let's get that sandwich back together. Correction, there's a hole there that allows you to get into that through a hole in there, which then clearances for that fixing to be out your way. So now let's put it together. So under the handle we run in that notch, in that notch, under the throttle, through that notch, in that notch, and then we'll just put the, the handle back together. Yeah, I need two hands for back in a sec. Yeah, so that's your override. That will pull your throttle. So we can pin this on and then we'll turn and plumb it into the carburetor. So I've put some oily mix in there because I don't know how long the cylinder's not run. Choker's lined up with the slot and the pipe's in. I've pulled it and pulled it and pulled it and pulled it and pulled it. So let's see if we can get a run out of it. Get down the holder and play nice. I'm 
pretty sure when I've looked under there that fuel is in there. So let's go. Right, we have another look under there. My start button is not staying. Right, got my start button working now. <laughs> that runs sweet as in that. Let's uh, find a bit of wood to cut. I'm well pleased with that. That's a junk saw turned into a good saw. So it needs a good wash down. Make the outside a bit prettier. Pop in some of the castrol chain oil. But I'd call that a win. Even the chain is pretty good. So cheers for watching.